Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about Spartsheet project status report. In this video, we will see how we can generate reports from the Smartsheet projects. So for that, first you have to go to the browser and there you have to search for Smartsheets or you can get the link of Smartsheet in the description below. Once you follow that link, you will end up onto the website of Smartsheet. So this one is a home interface of Smartsheet. There you can see we have a lot of options available. Once you click onto this browse option, there you will see all the sheets that you have created. Now what you have to do is that you have to right click and there you will see this option report. You just have to simply click onto it and after that you have to name that sheet. You can name that sheet according to your preferences or whatever option you would like to go with. And the options below that you just have to simply choose the first one because the second one is too much complex therefore you just simply have to go with this first option and press ok and there you can see the logo of this report is different from the other files you just have to simply open it and there you will see that it is empty because we have to add reports here so first what you have to do is that you just have to simply select the folder here I'm going to select the sheets once I click onto it and press the next there you will see that it will add all the sheet that are here and this is what not I'm looking for so again I'm going to click on sheet pressing this option and then I will choose only those files of which I want the reports you can add multiple files here therefore I'm going to add these three sheets here with the name project 1 2 and 3 and then I'm pressing ok after that you have to choose what kind of columns you would like to go with so it will add all the columns from the sheets you can choose which columns you would like to go just simply select these ones and the content of these columns will get added on the back of the screen which is our reports once you have selected you just have to simply press this key next and after that your selected columns will add it you can choose all the columns if you would like to but if you want to choose a specific one then simply browse them and then simply click on to it and later on these will be added once you have selected your desired columns or maybe the columns that you're looking for and you think that are blue tick you have to press ok and there you can see that these will be added here and also we have the columns Later on, if you want to use this filter option, let's say if you are looking for something specific, you can choose it from there. And after that, that specific filter option will be added onto the back side, which is called the sheet. Once you have selected these options, you just have to make sure that you press this option OK. Because if you don't do that, then the selected options will not add it. And after that, we have this group option. You can make groups of different things let's say you want to make group of different kind of columns you can do that you can also assign them into the form of ascending and descending as i selected the grouping in the form of ascending to descending therefore you can see that the columns are starting from a and then going on with the alphabets after that we have this option summarize if you click on to the summarize option you can add the sheet summaries here of your desired columns and other options and once you have selected your option press ok and after that it will work according to it and here you can see that on the top it has added summary to it if the works will be completed then you will see the different counts there but we have zero in sort you can just simply sort it according to your choice once you're done with all these things you then simply press on share and after that these things will get shared if you want to keep only one column you can also do that then you will see the results only of that one column so the purpose of reports is that you can use different kind of sheets and you create its summary or you could say the reports into one sheet so that you can see how much progress is done so using smart sheet project status report feature is very easy and very simple you just have to simply get logged in on smart sheet then you have to create report name it once you open it you have to choose columns or different kind of sheets that you have to select and after that you will get reports according to it i hope you found this video helpful and informative make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel for more videos and updates and thank you so much for watching the video